FIFA, also referred to as FIFA Football, is a collection of soccer video games created and published by Electronic Arts under the EA Sports brand. FIFA is classified in the Guinness Book of World Records as the best-selling sports video game in the world, having sold over 111 million copies as of late 2021, making it one of the most played and loved games in the world. The game is playable in 51 countries and is available in 18 different languages. To make their video game FIFA Football, EA worked with FIFA, the real football agency, for nearly 30 years. However, that partnership expired at the end of the year 2022. The series will be called EA Sports FC, and EA plans to collaborate with a new developer to create the true FIFA-branded game. When EA Sports announced a football game as the upcoming release under their EA Sports label, football video games like Tekken World Cup, Sensible Soccer, Kickoff, and Match Day had previously been created since the late 1980s and were already competitive in the game's market. FIFA International Soccer, the first game in the series to debut on the Sega Mega Drive in late 1993, was remarkable for being the first to hold an official license for FIFA the organization that governs football worldwide. Ignite is a gaming engine that Electronic Arts created and used in various sports titles, including the initial iterations of FIFA. Ignite was created specifically for usage in eSports video games. The engine was well known for its high capacity to make video game sports come alive and more intuitive regardless of the genre. From football all the way to basketball, it was supported on both platforms Xbox and PlayStation. In the engine, Electronic Arts highlighted a number of features. Players can think like ultramarathoners in-game thanks to the Human Intelligence Framework, which gives them the capacity to make quick decisions, anticipate impacts, and function as a team. For instance, the new artificial intelligence makes computer players race for more shots on goal at the end of an association football match. With the use of the true player motion framework, players' bodies, limbs, and attire can all move naturally. The stadium audience members and their individual behaviors are modeled using the living world framework. The audience will have expectations for the virtual sports contests and will respond to how those matches are going as they happen. Additionally, the Ignite Artificial Intelligence can perform four times as many computations per second on the next-generation hardware, unlike in earlier EA Sports games. And it also has better animation quality and clothing mechanics overall. Overall, the engine was a huge success in terms of quality, aesthetics, and animation, and is still regarded as one of the greatest in gaming engine history. The Frostbite game engine was created by DICE and was first primarily used in the Battlefield video game series. However, it was later added to the first-person shooter games as well as a number of other genres, including sports video games from FIFA 17 to FIFA 23. Today, the sole game engine used to make FIFA or EA Sports FC is Frostbite, which has only been utilized to build video games released by Electronic Arts. The game engine was initially created for cross-platform play on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 from the 7th generation, PlayStation 4 from the 8th generation, Nintendo Switch from the 9th generation, and Xbox One X and S from the 10th generation. Although Frostbite was created for first-person shooter games, it was first utilized on the Rory McIlroy PGA Tour on July 14, 2015, and FIFA 17 on September 27, 2016, both of which were sports video games. The PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 versions, along with the Nintendo Switch version, do not use the engine in favor of Ignite, which is the engine used by the last generation of FIFA games until FIFA 17. This meant that the Journey campaign and new features like the Champions League mode, which was introduced in FIFA 19, were excluded from these additions. Only the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC versions of the game, as well as the future updates, will run on Frostbite's Legacy Editions as the name given to the oldest titles that are still using Ignite.
In conclusion, FIFA has been developed in stages. The first iteration of the game used the Ignite engine, which made significant advancements and was a pretty successful engine for sports games. However, Electronic Arts decided to switch to the Frostbite engine because it was more technologically advanced, and the studio that developed it has a very promising future for the game. Overall, FIFA is a very well-liked and successful sports game that is played by many people. If anything, this shows how powerful the engine employed in the game is. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, hit the like button, and see you in the next video.